I have been so excited to share this with you guys. I'm super pumped. If you are new here, I'm Christina, and I'm a homeschooling mom of five kids, ages three, four, eight, 12, and 15. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the reading curriculum that I have chosen for my three and four year old for the upcoming school year and beyond, however long they need this. I recently shared my pre-K and kindergarten curriculum picks. Like I use that term loosely because there's not a lot of curriculum in there. It's more the resources that I plan to use to teach them. Like learning through play was what I was really looking for for them. And I really didn't want to get nervous and fall back on a full formal reading curriculum, at least until they were like a few years older if needed. So if they got to like seven and they're not still reading and I felt the need or even six, then I would maybe introduce a more formal curriculum. But at their age, I did not want to be starting that yet. And if that you've done that and it works for you or if you're planning to do it, go for it and try it out and see if it works. I just didn't want to do that with them. And so I wasn't going to use any reading curriculum really. And then my friend Jess shared about the resource that she created, Play Your Way to Reading. And I was like, yes, that's what I need. That's exactly what I was looking for that I didn't think existed. And so it's kind of what I was going to try to do on my own. And maybe that would have been great. I don't really know, but I really look up to Jess, Jess from Silo and Sage, if you don't know her. She's here on YouTube and she's also over on Instagram and she's a little bit further along than me on this homeschool journey and I always look to her page because I feel like we have a very similar homeschool style in the sense that like we're not fully unschooling, I guess, whatever that definition like is for you to be able to fall under an unschooler. And we don't use curriculum traditionally, but we kind of fall somewhere in between with using curriculum as a tool, but really focusing on learning through play and not doing busy work and not filling our kids schedules with a ton of formal academics and really leaving room for them to learn through their own interests and things like that. And so when she shared about this, I was like, whoa. And so I'm really excited to share it with you. We have just started dabbling in it a little bit, but I want to tell you all about it and the things that I think are amazing about it. Now, this isn't really a curriculum as far as traditional curriculum goes. As a matter of fact, Jess explains in Player Way to Reading that she thinks this is more than enough, I would agree, but she does share just a handful of reading curriculums that she thinks would pair nicely with it if you feel like your child needs that or you really want it. But this should be enough if you just want them to learn how to read through play and you don't wanna use worksheets and things like that in order to teach them their letters and how to spell and how to read. I was so excited to dive in and check it out. I'm gonna walk you through a little bit about it, but I wanna share with you just a little bit more about Jess. So Jess, before she became a full-time homeschooling mom, was a kindergarten teacher, and in fact, she was a reading specialist. So she understands all about how children learn to read. She wanted to create something that is developmentally appropriate for younger kids who are learning how to read, and that is what kind of led to her as well as teaching her own kids how to read, what led to her creating this resource for parents who wanted to allow their children to learn how to read through play. And so the main file for Player Way to Reading is 200 pages. So I did not print it out, but I actually might. I don't think you really need to, you don't have to print out everything. There are a few things that you may wanna print out. Um, but if you're like me and you like a physical thing in hand, um, I really am like a tangible person. I love to flip through things and just more scrolling on my phone is not what I'm looking for. So I probably will end up printing this whole thing, but I do have a couple things here to show you. So this is what the cover looks like for Play Your Way to Reading. There are multiple videos for you as the parent to start this journey of teaching your child to read through play. 
they're short they're not like lengthy videos that are overwhelming i'm not gonna lie at first i was like oh my gosh i have to watch all these videos in order to do this it's not like that at all they're like three to four minute videos that focus on a particular aspect like materials you might want to gather how children learn to read and different things like that and it's like you're sitting down listening to a friend share with you how to teach your child how to read through play. So it's really, it was actually really helpful and I really enjoyed the video. So that is one really great aspect of it along with the 200 page guide. So there are some reading for you as a parent in the beginning that it kind of explains the whole concept behind learning to read through play about how children learn to read, what things are developmentally appropriate, and then it walks you through so many activities for them learning their letters, learning sight words, learning how to build words with letters, learning how to build sentences, rhyming words, word families, all through play. So I just printed out one of them to show you, like one that I got super excited about. And this is the toy basket. And so it tells you exactly what you need. Here's the other thing that I really like about it. The things that she says you need or recommends are typically things that most of us who have kids will have around our house anyway. And so for example, you don't have to go buy all these expensive things in order to do this. So what you need, toys, so like farm animals, cars, etc., that your child could spell. So this is once they know their letters and they're starting to build words. A basket, word cards, and letters. And so you put a bunch of toys in a basket and then pick things that your child could spell. Examples, cow, pig, duck, car, plane, cup, plate, ball. Then you give their, your child the word and then they find the object. That's one way to do it or have your child pick an object from the basket and either find the word or build the word. So again, depending on like where they are in their abilities, what way interests them. There's a variety of ways to do just this one activity. And this is one of countless activities for teaching your children how to build words from letters. There are countless similar activities for how to teach your child their letters in the first place. And then there are a bunch of activities for teaching them rhyming words and a bunch of activities for teaching them sight words and word families and all of those different aspects of reading. I really got excited about this one because this is an, similar to an activity that I wanted to do with them this year anyway. So we're not ready for this. This will be later in the year. But what I had wanted to do is when we're focusing like on the letter A is have a basket with all little toys of things that start with A. And so this is kind of like the next step for that. So I was really excited when I saw that because I feel like by that time, it'll be an activity that they're sort of already familiar with, but it'll be like at a higher level. Um, another thing that you may want to print, like if you don't want to print everything, like obviously you don't need to print these. You can pull this up on your tablet, your computer, your phone. I am probably gonna have it printed. And I always have my stuff printed by Pure and Simple Printing. So, and I do have a discount code. I will link them down below. But there are these little planners. So if you wanted to plan, if you wanted to look through the activities and decide, okay, these are the handful of activities I wanna get through this week. You could map them out, take notes, maybe like things that you need to gather, or if there are things that you wanna buy or borrow, or books that you wanna get from the library, you could put those things in the notes spot. So that particular file is 200 pages long. Um, there are no worksheets for your child to complete, minus a couple of optional things that you might want to do. So other than that main file, there's the alphabet tracing cards. These are really great because these are reusable. You don't have to make them reusable, but that's the way Jess suggests that you use them, and that's how I plan to use them. And so they're little tracing cards that have the uppercase and lowercase for each letter and you laminate them and use a dry erase marker. Now this is something that could go inside like if you're learning about A that week because that's how you're choosing to do it. You could have one of these with their dry erase marker in the basket with the little things that start with the letter A or you could just give them a handful of letters that they're learning or you can use it as a review or just keep it out like once they're familiar with these you could keep them in a basket with a little marker and it's something that they could self-select to do as well and so i was really excited about these because these are something that can be used over and over again 
Um, and with more than one child, you can save them if you have multiple children that will be learning how to read. So there are those. And then this is the only like worksheet, only other worksheet style thing that's in there. And that's the reading journal. And look at how adorable this is. I actually even plan to use some of these pages with my eight year old because she'll enjoy these. So tell the story. What is the story mostly about? Draw it. I didn't print everything from the reading journal, just a few things. The order of events. So learning about beginning, middle and end of a story. So story sequencing. There's also an activity in Play Your Way to Reading where you create a basket for a particular book or so like a basket or a bin, a particular picture book and then different things that go along with the picture book so that they could use those little toys or items to retell the story. So that's another way for them to do order of events and story sequencing, draw a character, um, what's the problem. So learning like this is really early learning about conflict in a story. Like every good story has a conflict that needs to be solved. What problem are they trying to solve? How do they solve it? Or how did the book end? There are ones that have you compare like them, have them compare themselves to a particular character. So really just gentle learning. Obviously this is going to come towards the end of the play your way to reading experience. Once you've learned the letters and you've learned how to build words with the letters and build sentences with the words and all of those things. But you can also just use these as prompts to build their literacy and have them narrate the answers to you if they're not writing yet. So you could even use these early on as a way to get them used to those questions and looking for those things in stories. And then when they are writing later on, they're already familiar with those questions. They're already familiar with thinking through those concepts. And then all they have to do is the work of the writing as opposed to having this new thing to think about and then figuring out how to write it down and all of that. So I just feel like the way she has created this is so organic and it's like the natural sequence of the way kids learn. It's not like these forced drills, like I am going to drill you to death with tracing your A's until you get them right, or I'm gonna drill you with your letter sounds until you get them right, or we're gonna redo these same worksheets a billion times <laughs> until you get it right. And here's what I really love too that I didn't mention yet. So many of the activities include movement, and that was a huge consideration for me with my four-year-old especially, but even with my three-year-old, he is constantly moving. He has tons of energy. He does not want to sit still for like sometimes ever. And then when he does, it's not for a very long period of time. And I am not looking to force him to sit still for long periods of time at four and five or even six really. And so many of the activities in Play Your Way to Reading include movement, like jumping on the lily pad, letters or words, toys, like driving the car into a particular spot. And so what I love is that I don't have to think up all of these ideas. All of the ideas are already in Play Your Way to Reading. It is affordable and it's mostly for pre-K through first grade. So you could possibly use this as your main curriculum or resource from pre-K all the way through first grade. If you're really taking it slow and gentle, going all the way from learning letters, being able to recognize them, knowing their sound, being able to trace and write them all the way to like how they blend together with other letters to make consonant blends and digraphs and build words and then take those words and build sentences and then write said words and sentences like that is not a quick process and so this could potentially span years of really rich learning where you revisit activities that worked really well and maybe try out one and be okay with the fact that that one didn't work and just move on and then maybe reintroduce it at a later time and maybe that'll be the perfect time or maybe they still won't like that activity and what's great about it is you won't feel like there are learning gaps because they weren't interested or weren't able to do this sequenced curriculum and so while this sequences them through the skills learning the skills it is not necessary to do every single one of the activities and do them in order in order for them to learn to read. So I think that's really important too. So I will be mostly using this with my three and four year old. And like, if my three year old's not interested, I don't care, she can jump around and be silly with us 
and if nothing else she's having fun and maybe she's gaining a little bit of recognizing a letter or knowing a couple letters sound so i'm not even worried about them learning to read this year i am just hoping to gently introduce learning to read through play with them through this amazing resource that Jess created. And so I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm genuinely super excited about it. She did give me a discount code to share with you. So I've put that in the description box below. You can find the link to purchase or just look further through Player Way to Reading down in the description box below. She has countless resources though that are incredible, not just for homeschooling, but for homemaking and kind of home management. So definitely check Jess out. The other thing that I grabbed that I definitely want to find a way to implement also this upcoming school year is called Paragraphs and Picture Books. And it is another like similar gentle way to include writing through reading picture books. I haven't gotten a chance to look as deeply at it yet, but I know that it is something that I'm going to want to incorporate because writing is something that I really wanna approach delicately with my children because I want them to enjoy it as much as possible. Maybe even love it instead of it being like this really strict format that's dry and unrelated to anything enjoyable. I really want it to be like now write in this really fun way about this cool book that we just read. And so if you're looking for something like that, kind of like a literature based approach to writing that's just gentle, definitely check that out as well. And you can find that at the same link down below. Let me know if you've tried Player Way to Reading. It is fairly new, but I know that there are already families using it and loving it. So if that is you, put it down in the comments below so that other moms can see that other children are actually learning through play. You don't have to be afraid of it. They don't have to do worksheets. You don't need a full blown curriculum for your four year old or even your five year old. And if you do use one and it's working, that is wonderful. But I am just so excited that I found a way for him to learn to read through play. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, introduce yourself down in the comments below. I love to get to know you guys. If you've used something that you really loved for reading for your children, definitely throw that down in the comments below. If you are not already following myself or Jess over on Instagram, definitely follow us both. You can find me at rooted underscore home life and you can find her at silo and sage. So I'll link them both down below as well. I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos and until next time, stay rooted.